There are certain mysteries in life. How is this picture flying through the air and into your TV? Where exactly is the cloud? And what will I look like when I get older? Let's be honest, we don't really care about the first two. Here's Adam Yamaguchi with a look into our facial future. We begin our lives looking like this. But as we age over the years, our faces and our features get bigger, gravity and sunlight take their tolls, and we start to look something more like this. What if you could peek into the future and get a glimpse of your appearance at the age of 80? How would that affect your lifestyle choices, where you lived? How might age progression help identify and locate people, especially children who've been missing for years? Now, breakthrough computer technology may give you those options. Developed in the Emerald City, Seattle, Washington, at the University of Washington, Assistant Professor Ira Kimmelmacher is the innovator of this aging software. This is where you're aging everybody. Yeah. <laughs> Why did you develop this software? The motivation for this particular project was when we talked with um, Missing Children Foundations. They mentioned that it's so difficult to produce age-progressed versions of photos of little children. And so we wanted to help them to do these things automatically because currently it's done mm -hmm. mostly manually. Mm -hmm. Manually means an artist sketches or digitally creates a conceptual picture of how a missing person may have aged based on photos of their parents or siblings something that is both time-consuming and expensive. Like these artist renderings of little Madeline McCann, who disappeared in Portugal in 2007 at the age of three. So how did you go about creating the software? What we did, we said, okay, so let's go to the internet and just search for babies, how babies look like, or how five-year-olds look like. Uh, for every age group, we collected about 1,500 photos. Uh, found correspondence between every photo in the collection to every other photo. We developed a computer vision algorithm that takes all these photos per age group and finds correspondence between every point on one face to every point on another face. So you took 1,500 images of five-year-olds, of six-year-olds, of seven-year-olds, put all those photos together and generated a, an average face of a five-year-old, right. a six-year-old. Exactly. And that's what we're looking yeah. at here. Yeah, they almost look like real people, but they're not. These are just average model from 1,500 people. Ira and her team took the average model faces of both men and women and wrote a computer code that can take any photograph and age the face in the picture up to 80 years in as little as 30 seconds. And so you can see that it's the same person, the milk mustache stays. Um, <laughs> he didn't wash, he didn't wash his face. <laughs> yeah, but, um, but you can see that the nose changed, the uh, lips uh, uh, got a bit thinner here, um, bags under the eyes and so on. Have you age progressed I, yourself? No, I haven't. <laughs> Why? I don't know, never, never, actually, I don't know, I didn't find a reason to do Are you afraid? <laughs> Probably. <laughs> I wanted to test this aging software, so I put my ego aside. All right, I don't really want to know, but I just emailed you my photos. You can go ahead and age me. All right, sounds good. You'll be 80 in no time. <laughs> <laughs> Ira ran the program off of her laptop in her office. In less than a minute, she had the results. It's not too bad. <laughs> just, uh, okay, so here's one. That was you. <laughs> That's you, Alder. Let's see, so this one is about 80, probably. Huh. That's not bad for 80. Yeah, look pretty good. <laughs> so I'm, I'm less afraid of aging now. Ira has received calls from the insurance and healthcare industries about utilizing the aging software for their customers. But that's not why she created it. It's exciting that there is a real application so that it's not just a, you know, a lab project that people will be able to use it and possibly... Find I, missing oh, yeah, children, yeah, right? Yeah, that's, that's my main hope, right.